the fourth quarter there, four minute offense, you ran mm -hmm. same play eight times, uh, variation of it going left and right. Mm -hmm. What does that say about the confidence you have in your run offense? Well, yeah, well, I think first off, you know, you know, credit goes to kind of our run game contingent, Bobby, Andy Bischoff, DeAndre, for the conviction they had in those plays at the end of the game, and, and definitely the players for going out and executing them. You know, it's not hard. It's not easy to do that um, in the National Football League, and they did a nice job of, of handling it and, and picking up yards when we needed it. Have you ever run the same play that, at least some variation of it, that many times in a row? Um, How rare is that? I don't know. I don't know the what the, the numbers are on it, but um, that was, would be a first for me. Are you sure you're from the Andy Reid coaching tree? Because he would have broke out the <laughs> doing that. <laughs> what does it do um, for an offense that you have a left tackle playing the level that Andrew's playing at? Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely um, definitely helps out everyone else. Um, Andrew's doing a great job um, with the communication, with the execution. I think he's bringing young guys along as well so, you know, from a leadership standpoint, obviously being a captain in the locker room. Um, he's a great teammate. So I think all of that combined is what um, what, what helps out a lot throughout the, in the offense, but throughout the team as well. Mike, how big is knowing your loss for the next time? Yeah, we'll certainly, um, we'll certainly miss him. You know, hope he gets back soon. But you know, we've had a next man up mentality this whole season. And the guys that will be stepping into those roles, well, you know, we'll expect them to, to jump right in and, and execute at a high level. And Coach Bischoff does a great job getting those guys ready. So, um, you know, the, the rest of those guys will, will be right, will be, you know, right up, ready to go. Mike, I, I ask this, you know, knowing that everybody always wants more, but mm -hmm. with, with scoring down and around the league, are, mm -hmm. are you happy with where you, where you guys are in terms of that? Yeah, we, we evaluate the red zone each week and, you know, f continue to find ways to get better at it. Um, you know, it, it's hard to score in the National Football League, but you got to find ways. And so, you know, however we can find ways to um, to make to make our guys score points, field goals. Obviously, you want the touchdowns, but you know we evaluate that every single week and um, we're looking for ways to improve. Well, in most of those eight plays we talked about, Josh Cole, I think, except for one. Uh, is that one of his strengths? And how did you feel like he played? Yeah, he did. A, he did a great job. Again, that next man up mentality. He jumped right in there. Um, handled the cadence and um, some of our sound account stuff. Did a really good job with that. The communication, like that. There's a lot of things he had, had to juggle, and he jumped right in, executed it when we needed to. Um, when everyone knew we were going to run the ball, he, you know, he was one of those guys out in front um, with with great, you know, fundamentals and all the things that we talk about each day. He, you know, he did a nice job with that. What do you think when you heard Saquon after the game say, <clears throat> basically, played soft, ran soft in the in the first yeah. half? Well, Saquon's very critical of himself, and that's what makes him. That's what makes him the player he is. I think you know. There's was there some more left out there for him? Maybe I think so. Um, but that's that's the kind of competitor he is, and I think you know he's never satisfied. So why do you guys? Why do you think you guys are having so much more success? Not just that game, but just in general. <clears throat> numbers bear that in the second half of games this year compared to yeah. the first. Um, you know, I think it's a combination. I think I kind of talked about this last week. It's a combination of. Um, you know, putting players in the right positions and the execution. So, I mean, it's, 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 we're all in this thing together. You know, we got to continue to find ways to start fast. I thought we did a better job of that um, in Jacksonville. First drive, went down, scored. And so, you know, I think that's, we're going to continue to find ways and we have to find um, a similar way this week. So you don't consider it much the idea of wearing down defenses. You think it's more schematic and that, uh, yeah. being able to take advantage of what you see? I think, each week you go into it trying to score points and try and start fast every single week and try and um, you know score every time you touch the football. Like that's the goal. So um, you know I think over time you know how how that fits with who we want to be as an offense, whether it's running it, whether it's throwing it, or, you know based on what the defense presents, you just got to be flexible. You guys have obviously faced some unique circumstances on the mm -hmm. road this year, going to yeah. London. It certainly was a pro Green Bay crowd mm -hmm. last week. It was really a pro Giants crowd for most of it. Mm -hmm. Going to Seattle, where the reputation the yeah. Hotel has kind of preceded them, how do you yeah. guys handle that circumstance? Is yeah. there even more emphasis this week for you guys to go silent mm -hmm. and try to yeah. figure out how to deal well, with Well, you definitely that? know you're going into you know a, a loud environment, so you, you prepare the best you can like we have been all week with, with the crowd noise and that kind of stuff at practice, and Coach Dave's does a good job of getting our guys ready for that. Mike, why, why, why is it going down today, like last week? Like, like what transition? 
Um, that's a good question. I haven't really studied the whole league. You know, we're really focused on ourselves right now um, and, and how we can get better. I think, you know, we're, that's what we're really focused on right now. Hey, Greg, uh, on Daniel's touchdown run, did he audible or take it upon himself because he saw something to make that play happen, or was that just the play call? Yeah, no, Dan, Daniel did a nice job there. Of um, we, had, we had a run called, and those guys kind of took it upon themselves to – um, to sneak in there down there in the inch inch line, so it was a, it was a good job by them being football players. How do you how do you decide when to roll Daniel out or when yeah. maybe to encourage him that? He's sure, that? sure. There's there's certain looks that we look for on tape in the game that um, that we look for, and then you know we make adjustments based off how they're how they're lining up for which run schemes which keeps schemes. So there's there's a little bit of flexibility. There's a little bit of in-game kind of feel. So um, but that, that's something that Dave's brought along, and that's, that's been a good part for us, and Daniel's handled it really well. It's, it's complicated, but um, those guys have, have done a good job with the looks that have been presented. With Daniel, you mentioned the audible there. Mm -hmm. How much more do you see him changing stuff up now, maybe compared to earlier in the year, and now that he becomes more familiar with what you guys are looking for, what you guys are doing with this offense? Uh, say, can you say that again? Sorry. How much more is, is he potentially audible knowing that yeah. he's probably more comfortable, I would assume, yeah. in the offense than okay. he was six, seven the, weeks? Yeah, I think in the offense, it's, it's kind of built into the offense, run and pass options, pass and run options. Um, there's there's a lot of flexibility. I mean, the, the quarterback has kind of the keys to the car from that aspect. So uh, he does a good job handling it. Shea Tierney does an awesome job of, of getting those guys prepared. And, the, you know, the whole quarterback room is, is sharp and on top of it.